Uh, this probably won't surprise many of you, but fall happens to be my favorite season. The renewed hope and optimism of our fans that comes in September just doesn't get old, even for somebody who's been involved with football for 37 years. But since I became commissioner, something extra special arrived with the kickoff of our new season. It was a handwritten letter sent through U.S. mail every year. And the return address said Bart Starr, Birmingham, Alabama. Each season, Bart took time to wish the league and impressed upon me the importance of holding the highest standards and wishing us good luck for that year. Yes, it was a reminder from the greatest to play the game directly in his own writing and from one of my childhood heroes. So what did Bart mean to the NFL? He brought football into America's living rooms and was the star in the rise of the league in the 60s. A man who played the game with class, grit, passion, and inspiring leadership. Five championships, two Super Bowl MVP awards, that infamous quarterback sneak to qualify for the first ever Super Bowl, a true Hall of Famer. Ask anyone who played with him, there was no better teammate. Off the field, as Bart Jr. just referred to, he elevated all of us. He was the most generous, decent, and kind person I ever knew. Simply put, number 15 was the best of men. He faced adversity head on and showed us what resiliency really looks like. I'll never forget what he went through physically to attend the Jersey retirement ceremony that Bart Jr. just referred to of Brett Favre at Lambeau Field. Again, he put everything and everyone before himself to pay tribute to another great one while creating yet another unforgettable moment for all of us. And where would we be without the incredible cherry? 65 years of love, support, and commitment. And I'm also very fortunate to be the recipient of many wonderful letters from Mrs. Bart Starr, which both Jane and I adore. And you have both been tremendous ambassadors of the game, and we thank you for that. But what is so amazing is that Bart, even to this day, continues to have a tremendous impact on active players in the NFL. Current Packer Mason Crosby may have put a best over the last 10 days. Bart always had time for everyone and made everyone better. My wife Jane will tell you that Bart made me better. In 1997, Jane was a news anchor in Milwaukee, covering the Packers on their rise to the Super Bowl. We had been dating long distance. I was in New York and she was in Milwaukee. And I wanted to uh, close that gap on the map. You know what I mean, I wanted to get married. And she really wanted to interview Bart Starr <laughs> right before the Super Bowl. So I sheepishly asked Bart if he'd be my wingman and grant my girlfriend an interview. No surprise to anyone here, he graciously accepted. And as she walked the streets of New Orleans during the interview with him, she said he did one of the most polite things she's ever remembered. He insisted on walking on the street side of the sidewalk to, to either protect her from the cars passing by or to make sure that she stayed clean because it was not the best of days. But that's the kind of generous, thoughtful man that Bart was. And the message was perfectly clear to me. I needed to step up my game. But Bart, thank you for being the ultimate gentleman. Cherry, thank you for sharing him with all of us. 
and giving all of us the opportunity to celebrate his incredible life today. Come September, I plan to reread his thoughtful letters that he wrote to me before the season. And this season, being our 100th anniversary season, will be special in many ways, but I want Bart to still be a part of that. And his words are as important as ever. Bart Starr will always be the league's true north, guiding us to the highest levels of leadership, success, resilience, and most of all, dignity. Thank you. Harry Roger, go back many, many years to 